For a photographer, it's not only a camera or the lenses that matters in getting a mind-blowing final image. A monitor suitable for photographers is crucial if you want to have full control when you post-process your images. My name is Solly. Welcome to my studio. It might feel like a jungle when looking for a new monitor. That's at least how I felt when I started to work on monitors for photographers, as I had no clue on what key features that are important. But in today's episode, I'm going to guide you on what to look for when buying a new monitor, and I will also show you the monitor that I'm using from BenQ, the SW31C. Today there are thousands of different monitors, but what makes a monitor suitable for photography? Well, as I said earlier, it can actually be a jungle when looking for a new screen, but there are a few key qualities that you should take into consideration when looking for a monitor to use for photography, so you can narrow down the alternatives. I'm going to share six of them with you here. The bigger is not always the better option. But a too small screen is neither an alternative. The optimal screen size should be where you can have a good overview of the image without having to turn your head in order to see the entire photo. This would be a screen size ranging between 24 and 32 inches. Having a high resolution is something that can make the difference in your post-production. Thanks to the progress in technology, nowadays it's possible to find monitors with 4K without spending a fortune. If you prefer a monitor bigger than 24 inches, then the 4K is something you definitely should take into consideration. For photographers, it's important that the monitor we use when post-processing our images covers 100% of the sRGB color space and that it also covers the color space Adobe RGB as much as possible. The gamut is the range of colors that are available in the screen, so make sure to ensure the sRGB and Adobe RGB color spaces are covered high enough. We also need to identify a parameter that tells us how accurate the monitor is on displaying colors. This parameter is called delta E, and in order to have a monitor that can be considered professional, its average value should be below 2. Also important when post-processing is the fact that the screen brightness should be consistent on the entire screen, otherwise your post-processing could be affected. It's quite mandatory that a monitor that will be used for photography should have an IPS panel. Depending on what angle you're looking at the screen, the saturation and the contrast will remain. This means adjustments made to the photo will look the same from any angle. So now you know the most important key features when buying a monitor for photographers. Before even I knew that monitor for photographers existed, I used to work on the screen of my laptop. Now it's been several years that I'm working on monitors for photographers from BenQ, and since a few months I'm using their latest monitor, the SW31C, and since this episode is about monitors for photographers, I thought that it would be a great idea to have a closer look on this one, and I'll also share why I like it so much. The first thing that I love about this monitor is the size. With this 32 inches, you can really go into the details of your photos. And it suits me very well as I also do macro photography. And with this screen, I can see everything. It's the biggest monitor I've ever had, and it doesn't take up much space. And as you can see, it's very slim. With this monitor, you can forget about having loads of cables messing around on your desk. This monitor is equipped with a USB-C port, so all you need is a USB-C cable that connects your monitor to your laptop. This cable will also allow you to perform the hardware calibration on your monitor. And the cherry on the top is that the USB port on the monitor delivers 60 watt, 
so it will also charge your laptop at the same time. So no need to use the charger for your laptop and you will spare the space of your desk from an additional cable. I also love this Hotkey Puck G2, the new generation Hotkey, which is a remote controller, which allows you to simplify your workflow with its shortcuts to different futures. Thanks to the Hotkey Puck G2, you'll be able to adjust the brightness of your screen and switch between the different color modes and other different futures. One feature that is very convenient for photographers is the gamut duo viewing that the BenQ SW31C offers. Thanks to the possibility to connect the computer to two connections at the same time, you can visualize your photo side by side in various color spaces. This function is great when you're preparing your images for print or online publishing. The Gamut Duo simply enables you to see your image in, for example, sRGB and Adobe RGB at the same time on one screen. If you print your photos, you will love this new feature of the SW321C. Thanks to the paper color sync technology, you will be able to simulate your prints and paper texture. By knowing the paper type that will be used for the print, the printer model and color gamut, you will be able to see a simulated result directly on the monitor. Even though the monitor has been calibrated before it's shipped to you, the color temperature and screen brightness will change after some time and therefore it's important to calibrate the monitor on a regular basis. To keep the monitor happy, it's recommended to do it every second week. You only need a probe and you can use BenQ's own calibration software called Palette Master Elements that you can download directly on their website. I've written a step-by-step -step guide on how to calibrate a BenQ screen with the Palette Master elements that you can find on my blog. Along with this monitor, you'll also get this screen cleaning roller. It's recommended that the monitor should only be cleaned using this roller and it will remove dirt, smudges, fingerprints, you name it. The roller is reusable, you just need to wash it with water. As we have seen, a monitor for photographers are loaded with features that are extremely beneficial if you, as a photographer, want to have full control over your images when post-processing. Especially for me as a food photographer, there are often parts in the images where I need to retouch on a very detailed level, so these 32 inches of the monitor is really helpful for that because it lets me see everything. There is also a huge range of true colors in this monitor and that's a benefit for food photographers because food photos are often very colorful and uh, the sharpness and color rendering of this monitor is top notch. No matter if you're publishing your work online or print, you will definitely benefit from its color uniformity, color accuracy, its size and especially the matte finish that gives you the feeling of a printed version of your image. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you have any questions you can just drop me a comment to the video below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.